Okay, so I just stumbled upon this tool called ProxyPin, and it's like a Swiss army knife for monitoring internet traffic. Super intriguing. Oh, wow. Tell me more. What makes it so special compared to other traffic capture tools? Well, for starters, it supports multiple platforms, Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and Linux. That's pretty rare, right? Seriously, that's a huge deal. It's like you can use it on any device without worrying about compatibility. Exactly. And I found out it even captures Flutter app traffic. How cool is that for developers? That's wild. Flutter apps are everywhere now. So it can really help you debug those apps effectively. Right? But here's where it gets interesting. There's no need to manually configure the Wi-Fi proxy. You can just scan a QR code. Wait, seriously? You just scan and you're good to go? That's a game changer for ease of use. Absolutely. And it filters domain names too, so you can capture only the traffic you need. So smart. Ah, that makes total sense. It avoids clutter and keeps the focus on what really matters. Clever. Plus, it supports custom JavaScript scripts for processing requests and responses. That's like next-level customization. Oh, wow. I love that. It's like you can tailor it to fit your specific testing scenarios. Such a neat feature. And get this. It also allows request rewriting and blocking, like you can modify data on the fly. That gives me chills. The possibilities are endless for what you can test or simulate with that. Totally. And it saves automatically captured data for easy review later. It's like having digital memory. That's such a helpful feature. No more losing track of the data you just analyzed. Genius. Right, and it even exports and imports in HAR format. These guys thought of everything. I didn't expect that level of sophistication. What else do they have up their sleeve? Well, they've got a built-in toolbox with encoding tools, regular expressions, and even QR codes. That's actually kind of scary how robust it is. This isn't just a basic tool. It's a full suite. Exactly. Plus, connecting is so easy across devices, it's like traffic capture without the headache. And I've got to ask, what's the user experience like? Oh, the UI is beautiful and user-friendly. You'll feel at home right away, even if you're a beginner. So they really focused on making it accessible, which is refreshing in tech. Smart move. For sure. But there's a bit of a catch. Max might flag it as from untrusted developers initially. That's typical but it's a minor hurdle to get over when the tool is this powerful. Definitely, and they're still improving features, which shows they're committed to user needs. I love that mentality. Continuous improvement is so critical, especially in tech. So all things considered, is this going to be the go-to traffic capture tool for developers? I'd say it's a top contender. The combination of features is hard to beat. Wait, but here's the kicker. All of this is open source. You can tinker with it as you wish. No way. That makes it even more appealing. Users can customize it to their heart's content. It just feels right. You know, a community-driven tool with all these powerful features. Totally. It reflects the best of what open source can offer, flexibility and support. I never thought about it that way. It's a real collaboration between developers and users. Exactly. And it makes me wonder how many more innovative tools like this are out there. There's probably a treasure trove of hidden gems waiting to be discovered. This is such a good example of how tech evolves with community input. So inspiring. Right? It changes the game for everyone involved, from developers to casual users. Could it spark a whole new wave of user-centric development tools? That's a big thought. Now that's a perfect question to leave everyone pondering. What tool will they come up with next? Exactly. I'm excited to see where the future of traffic capture goes from here. Me too. This conversation has opened my eyes to so many possibilities. Same here. Can't wait to dive in and explore ProxyPin myself.